Okay, today I got a P0128 error code, which is coolant temperature error. Um, just want to show you the temp sensor, uh, which is located on the front of the engine. Uh, this can also be caused if you have, say, like an air pocket um, inside the engine of coolant. So you want to check your coolant level first. Make sure that's good. I've got plenty of coolant in there. Um, I found that out when I uh, replaced all my hoses. And when I first filled the system, that was one of the error codes I got when I started the engine back up. Uh, but that's been running fine since that point. So we've got this press-on connector, which you should be familiar now. Pressing the black tab in and just lifting it up. So I've got the connector pulled off. I wanted to show you. Always look inside, inspect your connections, make sure they're fine. And then there's this little black tab that you press down to pull up. You want to take an air compressor and blow off around to make sure there's no crud. So you, when you remove the old temp sensor, um, so nothing falls in. So I'm in the middle of changing my alternator and. Uh, I'm also uh, changing out my temperature sensor. Now I said it was a three quarter inch deep socket. Uh, you can use 19 millimeter if you want to, but here you get a clear view of it. It comes out um, pretty simple to replace. So you can see with the temperature sensor, it's got it's got some stuff on the threads and that's uh, probably prevented from working its way out. You can wrap it a little bit with Teflon if you want Teflon tape and put it back in but like i said it was a 19 millimeter deep socket so you didn't have to remove the alternator i just happened to had two failures in one week lucky me um and then it goes and pop on the connector and that solves your temperature sense problem uh you just want to make sure when you pull the other one out that there is no buildup or crud inside the top of the engine to come out and mine looks pretty cruddy so another thing that can cause the error code too is the air intake sensor, which is located right here. So you just slide this clip, pop it off. I already loosened up these two. And we can see the sensor inside. Mine looks a little dirty on the back. I'm gonna try cleaning it to see if that does it. Um, that might help it a little bit. If not, I'm gonna have to replace that too, okay?